In my next two videos, I'm going to talk about first the short-term effects of carbon monoxide poisoning, how to recognize it when you have it, and the second I'm going to talk about the long-term problems. Carbon monoxide poisoning can be a very acute emergency. If you don't get out of the premises you're in, you might actually die. Um, feeling sick, deciding to lay down because it's easier, could be the last decision you ever make. If you have any reason to believe you have carbon monoxide poisoning, if there's an alarm going off, or you have something else, you smell exhaust, or any other thing that could trigger this in your idea, get out of that premises. Now, what are the symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning in the acute stage? I have written a lot about this, but I'm going to read those to you from the CDC's page. Um, the CDC says that carbon monoxide poisoning include headache, dizziness, weakness, upset stomach, vomiting, chest pain, and confusion. They're often described as flu-like. What does that mean? Well, if you think you got the flu, but it doesn't make sense for you to have the flu, you might have carbon monoxide poisoning. If you think you got the flu and everybody else you're with is suddenly getting the flu at around the same time with very similar symptoms, you almost certainly have some sort of environmental situation going on and it's most likely carbon monoxide. Get out of the place. What does it mean to have the kind of headache that would separate itself from others. There's just a nature to the way it comes on. It just comes on suddenly, um, and it does come with other neurological symptoms. Weakness. You know, you just don't feel like you can make it up and down the stairs. You're standing and you're feeling lightheaded. Um, these are often signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. It's not just that it uh, that gives you these pain symptoms or this nausea, but it's that you're having difficulty getting oxygen to all of your cells, shortness of breath, any of these other things. A combination of things that just seems like too many things are going on to it be explained by a flu or it happened too quickly, then consider carbon monoxide. It's important that if you have the acute symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning that you get diagnosed. You need to go to the hospital and you need to make sure that they test your blood for carbon monoxide. Now it may very well be that you go to the hospital and you have clear symptoms of the flu and that's not it. But the default of the emergency room is that it's everything but carbon monoxide. So it's important that you let them know that you might have carbon monoxide. The short-term symptoms of carbon monoxide can turn into a long-term disease process, the long-term problem with severe, significant ongoing problems. The short-term problems of carbon monoxide do turn into long-term problems. About 40 to 50 percent of those people who have significant carbon monoxide exposure do in fact have long-term problems that include brain damage. I'm going to talk about those in my next video. Thank you.